in the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains. The wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. While the wise monk Tripitaka and his companion Monkey continued their westward pilgrimage in their quest for the books of wisdom, the evil monk Kam Fong had set off on a mission of his own. He was riding to Black Wind Mountain to offer a delicious gift to the hungry monsters who made their home in the Cave of Darkness. The fire burns brightly. Soon our potion will be ready, and then what a fine supper we'll have, won't we? <laughs> I'll taste it first. No, you won't. I will. But you will gobble it all up. I should be the one to taste it first. But you did last time. And I got none. Well, someone has to be the first to taste someone it. Someone should be me. No, it's no, my turn. It's ridiculous to argue over such a thing. You do eat like monsters. Of course we do. We are monsters. Honorable monsters. Huh? I brought a gift of honey for you. Indeed. Oh, delicious! Ah, we <laughs> must reward the monk for his gift. Yes. <laughs> but I seek no reward. <clears throat> we know you came for a magic bean, so you shall have one. <laughs> that bean's just added 100 years to your life. Many thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> now that he had what he wanted, Kam Fong returned to his home in the temple of the goddess Quan Yin. Look! The master has returned! Go to him, quickly! Welcome. Welcome. Have any of my precious robes been lost while I was away? No, master. Every single one of them is safe and sound. That is good. <laughs> huh? Strangers are approaching. Quickly, take my robes inside. Yes, master. Stop here. But why, master? I don't understand. I'll walk. Huh? Why walk if you don't need to? Monkey, you have much to learn. We walk in order to show our respect for the holiness of this temple. Oh. Chipitaka and Monkey had no idea that danger lurked within. The great temple of Quan Yin, a most sacred place. Who's there? Two pilgrims seeking shelter. <laughs> This is a sacred place. We do not shelter beggars. <clears throat> Calm yourself, monkey. Please, we are travelers who come from the great empire of the east. Darkness is falling, and we humbly ask to be allowed to spend the night here. The empire of the east? Wait there while I consult with my superior. You are indeed most kind. He isn't kind at all, master. He's rude. Why are you being so polite? <clears throat> A monkey? Yes, my fellow traveler is a monkey. May we come in? The temple of Quan Yin is open to you. We are deeply grateful. Our superior awaits you. Mm. 
Welcome to the temple of Quan Yin, honored guests. It is a very great privilege. I must pray. <laughs> Our holy guest looks more like a holy fool. Hmm? <laughs> oh, uh... Honored guest. Yes, Reverend Monk. You have come to us from afar, yet you've no baggage with you. All we need is in Monkey's satchel. Ah, then it must contain a treasure of great worth. There is no treasure, Reverend Monk. For a man of faith, treasure holds no value. <laughs> of course, you're right. There's no treasure. There's something better. Huh? We have a robe, one of the finest in the world. Monkey, stop these idle boasts. As a collector, I'd very much like to see this robe. Uh, uh, monkey. <clears throat> this should prove amusing. Monkey. Uh, oh. Well? It's right here. Hmm? <laughs> That's the finest robe in the world? That's right, isn't it lovely? <laughs> Stop playing the fool. You've overstepped your bounds. This robe of ours is worth more than your temple and everything that's in it. Mm -hmm. You dare say this to me? Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not real pilgrims. You're rogues and vagabonds, and you've overstayed your welcome. Throw the imposters out <gasps> and show them no mercy. Stand firm, monkey. <laughs> 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 oh, no. But this can't be. How did my robe get these powers? <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Oh, honored pilgrim, lend me your robe for one night. It is out of the question, and now my companion and I shall take our leave of you. Uh, I beseech you to stay. Please take pity on an old man. I beg you not to leave, honored guest. <laughs> oh, just one night, that's all I ask. My life was meaningless before I saw that robe. Don't take it away. <laughs> you see, even the goddess Kuan Yin's heart breaks huh? to see you taking leave of us. <gasps> Her tears are a sign. I shall do as you ask. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Reverend Monk? Show us some gratitude. Uh, yes, a thousand thanks, good sir. That'll be quite enough. <laughs> Later that night, after Chipitaka and Monkey had gone to bed, Cam Fong began to hatch an evil plot. I want to get rid of those pilgrims. But the question is, how? We'll take care of them, Master. Not me. I'm not going to fight with that monkey. You're right. A fight will be too risky. I have a better idea. <laughs> Hurry! They both asleep? Mm hmm. Well, Master? Start the fire now and send those pilgrims on a journey from which they shall never return. <laughs> it was truly delicious. No less than we deserve. <laughs> and for once, there was enough for us all. Thanks to the monk's honey. <laughs> Allow me to say, there's nothing like a meal shared with humble friends to put a monster in a foul humor. <laughs> no! There's a big fire down in the valley. Mm -hmm. Must be that old monk's temple. Delightful, isn't it? I love a good fire. Oh, me too. And the more it destroys, the more I like it. I'd love to stay and watch it, but I'm dreadfully tired. Mm, time I turned it as well. Sleep well. While the monks are distracted by the fire, I'll steal something. Like some more honey. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
We won't be seeing those two anymore. Now that they're out of the way, the robe is yours forever. Oh. <laughs> forever mine. Hmm. <laughs> Honorable monks! <gasps> Thought you were rid of me? Think again! <laughs> <laughs> I dreamed the great temple was on fire. It was no dream, Master. Hmm? Uh, what happened? The evil monk burned down the monastery. Hmm. Master, it's funny that you should have dreamt the temple was actually on fire. I also dreamt that a bear monster living in Black Wind Mountain stole my robe. Huh? Huh? We can't go on without that robe. Trust me, O oh Master, I'll find it. Monkey, you are noble and brave, but be mindful. Treachery is everywhere. And so, Monkey flew off to recover the robe, so that he and Tripitaka would be able to continue their journey to the West. The wise monk Tripitaka had dreamed that the bear monster of Black Wind Mountain had stolen his magical robe. So his faithful companion Monkey flew to the bear monster's abode, planning to use every trick he could think of to recover the precious robe from the hands of the wicked bear. <laughs> Monkey arrived while the bear monster and his friends were in the midst of a celebration. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Brother Bear, when are you going to tell us what exactly we're all celebrating here? Mm. Yes, we're all dying to know. Uh, <laughs> you're a clever bunch. Let's see if you can guess. No, my guess is that we're all here to honor my great beauty. Is that it? Because I agree. Our snake monster is truly a rare pearl. Nice try, but you're wrong. Matter of fact, you're not even warm. <laughs> Oh, then I guess it must be in honor of me. <laughs> Are we honoring Wolf Monster's brilliant mind? <laughs> Afraid not. Hello. Hey, you! Come tell my guests what we're celebrating. We're celebrating the fire that destroyed the great temple of Kuan Yin. Oh? We provided the spark and fanned the flames into a great inferno, and the two pilgrims had to beat down the door and run. We're rid of them. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, we routed them. Huh? They won't trouble us again, thanks to our treachery. They headed for the hills like scared rabbits. <laughs> there, if I know you, you took advantage of the fire to do some thieving. Mm? Did you find <laughs> anything of value? Mm, yes, the curiosity's killing us. <laughs> As you know, I'm no fool, and that fire did provide me with a golden opportunity to pick up a few choice items to add to my overflowing coffers. Oh, you're a master of evil. Aha! The, the monkey. monkey! I accuse you of stealing the robe belonging to my master, and I demand that you give it back to me. What robe? You must be out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't cry over spilled milk. Just give back the robe. You'll pay for your boldness. Bring me my spear! Monkey was up against a mighty opponent, for the bear had indeed stolen the robe and would not part with it easily. <laughs> your accusations are false, and you'll pay dearly for them. I'm telling the truth. Do you think I'd risk my life if I weren't completely sure of myself? You're bluffing, and if I were you, I'd abandon this foolish game of yours. I know you have the robe, and I won't give up till I get it. What proof do you have for these wild accusations you're throwing around? My master saw you steal the robe in a dream. And that's what you call proof? Dreams prove nothing. <laughs> if I were to tell you that I had a dream in which you ran screaming at the sight of my mighty spear, little monkey. <laughs> dream on, bear! <laughs> monkey knew that Tripitaka's dream was worth more than the bear monster's words. The truth was on Monkey's side. 
Even though the bear was a fierce foe, Monkey had to recover the roll, or he and his companions would not be able to continue on their mission without it. All right, I'm starting to lose my temper. Monkey! Master, what are you doing here? Uh, monkey! Huh? Uh, we must try to resolve this dispute with reason. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed reasoning with me. Uh, wait! Hmm? You have much to learn. Hmm? One who uses violence will always be inviting worse against himself. Sorry, I meant to hit the bear. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> well, looks like we're getting the better of him. Master! Oh, here. Oh, here we go. Who dares to attack Take you? Take me to my cave and prepare yourself for battle. Huh? Hey, don't think you can sneak away, my friend. Oh. I came here because you stole my master's robe, and no one goes anywhere till I get it back. I suggest you ask Cam Fong about your precious robe. Don't try and pin the blame on someone else. It just makes me a whole lot madder. Uh, monkey, wait! Uh, I've had just about enough of you monkey, and your... listen! Uh, huh? Uh, master? It may be wise to heed the bear's words and seek out this monk, Cam Fong. He may know something about the road. Uh, Don't think monkey, you'll get away with this! You monkey, haven't heard the last calm. from me! You must be Cam Fong. I'm here for my master's role. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't press your luck with me. Please, I'm old and weak. I, I'll tell you everything. The evil monk, Cam Fong, admitted that in order to steal the magic robe from Tripitaka, he had to put on a false display of sorrow. But far worse, he had used wicked and deceitful means to bring forth false tears from the statue of the goddess herself. Only someone truly evil would do this. Her tears are a sign. I shall do as you ask. <laughs> no, a thousand thanks, good sir. That'll be quite enough. Because of the generosity of his nature, Tripitaka was taken in. Now you should be mine forever. Cam Fong had planned all along to steal the robe, and when the opportunity arose, he took it. Huh? Boldly, he put on the stolen robe that was reputed to have such great powers. Well, you sure don't look like much. <laughs> oh. But something started to go badly wrong. Don't squeeze so tight! Let me go, I can't breathe! Stop, stop strangling! <laughs> You, please release me, robe. <laughs> Poor fellow. As long as he continues to think evil thoughts, the robe will give him nothing but trouble. Oh. Ah, that's better. Well, that was unpleasant. There's got to be a way around this. And I'll find it. Then I can control my friends and enemies alike. The moment Cam Fong had this evil thought, the robe tightened its grip on him again. Oh. <sighs> Off with you, then! <laughs> but he had to have the robe. I know what I'll do. I'll put it in a safe place until I can figure out how to use its powers safely. <laughs> there! Later that night, Cam Fong and his henchmen met and hatched a plot to rid themselves of Tripitaka and Monkey. Now! In the dead of the night, they made their way stealthily to the temple, where the pilgrims lay sleeping, and prepared to burn it to the ground. But their plan was not to succeed. Monkey, ever alert, heard the whispering of the monks outside and sensed that something was up. Are they both asleep? Proceed with the plan. Start the fire now and send those pilgrims on a journey from which they'll never return. The flames were quick to climb the walls of the old temple, but Monkey knew what to do. His first duty was to protect the sleeping Tripitaka. Once that was done, Change. Monkey transformed himself into a nimble groundhog and escaped the flames by burrowing under the earth. But he needed a higher vantage point. Forever mine. Cam Fong was sure the robe would be his once the pilgrims were gone, but they more than met their match in Monkey. Uh, thought you were rid of me? Think again! <laughs> and that was how Monkey drove the evil monks from the temple.
But in the meantime, unbeknownst to Monkey and Cam Fung, the bear monster had snuck into the temple and stolen the robe. You're gonna give me back that robe! The robe is mine! You can't have it! Mm. Open this door! <laughs> Monkey could not let Cam Fung carry out his greedy plans. The robe was too precious and too dangerous to let it fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> I'll teach you to fool with me. Huh? You're quick, but not quick enough. as you thought. Rise up! Ah! Protective shell! Very good. You've made your own little oven. How helpful. Burn! Burn! Victory is mine! Greed had finally undone Cam Fong. He was returned to his former state as a cockroach. Look! Such is the fate of those consumed by greed. The temple monks were set free from their servitude. We are so grateful. You'll behave yourselves from now on, you hear? It wasn't our fault. Cam Fong had all of us in his power. And it was your weakness that allowed him to. We still haven't found the robe. I am certain the bear monster has your robe, for while the great fire was burning, we saw him running through the flames to Cam Fong's chamber. Yes, he took the robe. I saw him do it. Mm hmm. Monkey, it's true. I saw this bear monster take the robe in my dream. Then I shall get it back. <clears throat> Good luck. <gasps> and so Monkey went to find the robe.